everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing really great and we're going to be talking about what's going on across the atlantic so as you would have seen from the title and thumbnail our first tropical wave has arrived so it did yesterday and I don't know if you guys remember if you watched my updated video earlier this week on Sunday when that big blob moved off Africa. That's the same area that I talked about and I even mentioned that uh, models have it, you know, some of the rain associated with it kind of uh, sticking together and potentially increasing the rainfall activity for some areas which would include the Eastern Caribbean and even Northern South America as well. So now we have it marked as a tropical wave, the first of the season. Here we're taking a look at the surface chart. So this is just uh, to show different atmospheric features out there. And so there we have the wave uh, just offshore northeast South America. So it's going to continue to propagate to the west toward the Caribbean. And it is likely to increase the rainfall chance. And we can also see those other orange uh, broken lines around indicating the other troughs out there such as the one that is uh, bringing quite a bit of rain to some areas in the Caribbean there has been flooding as well and we're going to be talking about that after which we'll move on to models and what they have to show over the course of the next few days in regards to the tropical wave so many islands in the east have been dry but hopefully this is uh, that little spark of hope that hey it's not going to be dry forever so let's get into it we can see here as we zoom into the caribbean that there is a lot going on right now associated with the troughs around and there's been quite a bit of rainfall in parts of Hispaniola, even Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands as well, going up to parts of the Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands. And then on Tuesday in Jamaica, some areas received a lot of heavy rain. So that was the worst of it because uh, yesterday some areas did receive some additional showers and thunderstorms, but it wasn't as widespread compared to Tuesday. So the bulk of that activity remained offshore of the island. But overall, we're still seeing that it is around, nonetheless, likely still bringing some showers to some areas and we're going to be taking a look at the uh, rainfall forecast but heading further west it is on the drier side nothing much is really going on right now okay and then we move to the rainfall forecast by euro here we can see it and the more colorful the map becomes more rain is expected so for parts of the southern bahamas turks and caicos islands eastern cuba Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands as well. There could be some additional heavy downpours at times today. For Jamaica, there could be some showers and thunderstorms around, especially as we head into the afternoon. Unfortunately for the Cayman Islands, even northern Bahamas sections of Florida, it will be on the sunny side. So not a whole lot of rain expected today at all. ABC Islands, a few showers may be around. Hopefully that will be the case. I know you guys are so hot down there. You have been complaining. And uh, for the Lesser Antilles, there could be a few showers moving in, but it's not a dollar guarantee for everywhere. Northern South America, the Guyanas, Colombia, Venezuela, we can see that it is colorful there. So there could certainly be some showers and thunderstorms. Same thing for parts of Central America, including Panama, Costa Rica, going to the west coast of Nicaragua. And then uh, in the vicinity of El Salvador, southern Guatemala as well. So again, that rain is definitely still around for the northern islands, but that system is moving out to the northeast. It's going to gradually, uh, conditions will gradually improve in the Caribbean. But I mean, uh, this rainmaker has been helpful because many areas were hot and dry and needed that rainfall relief, especially those with uh, a lot of restrictions as it relates to water. So that's great but unfortunately others have experienced flooding now going to the tropical wave let's talk about it there we can see all of the associated activity so it was producing a lot more convection than this and uh, it is exactly that you know we're going to see more activity associated with it but in terms of development let me get it straight off the bat it's not expected to develop as it is going to be approaching the Caribbean. So it is likely to have some rainfall associated with it. It's likely to increase the rainfall chance when it arrives. But in terms of seeing it develop in the short term, that is not expected. Let's take a look at what the models have to show. First, we have the GFS model still expecting that the trough affecting the Caribbean is going to intensify. We'll see how that goes in the coming days, but NHC has not marked the area as one that has a chance to develop into something, at least as of the latest update. But 
There you have the forecast time and all these green shadings you're seeing indicate the moisture, the precipitation rate. So as we're going to be heading into tomorrow going to Saturday, that is when the tropical wave is going to be arriving uh, at the Eastern Caribbean. It will be knocking on your guys' door. So we are seeing all these green shadings around. So as it makes its way by, it could result in that increase in moisture. And even across Northeast South America as well, uh, uh, as we're going to be heading into tomorrow, there could be somewhat of an increase in rainfall for the Guyanas. Taking a look at what the Euro model has to show, it is a similar story. You're not expecting development of the trough, but there we see all that moisture, all that rain associated with the tropical wave that will make its way into the Caribbean. So it is going to be arriving by Saturday. And again, development of it in the short term is not expected. So this is the first of probably 60 plus tropical waves that will emerge because once they start coming off every few days, there is a new one. And on average, between say 20 and 30 percent of the tropical waves actually manage to develop into tropical cyclones. And there are those hints of seeing development. We'll see what happens once that tropical wave makes its way to the Western Caribbean and uh, potentially cross over to the Eastern Pacific. We'll see what eventually happens. But again, it's going to be arriving by this weekend and could increase the rainfall chance for parts of the Eastern Caribbean. But for right now, the most significant feature in and around the Caribbean is the trough, which has been producing a lot of rain this week. But as I said, it is moving out to the northeast. And also a Saharan dust update. Let's take a look at the forecast. So not a lot of dust around right now. And as we're going to be heading into the new week, though, we're going to see a pretty dense plume make its way to the eastern islands. There we go. As we head into Sunday, Monday, take a look at that. So another plume of dust is on the way. It's going to be stretching across the main development region and reaching the Lesser Antilles by that time. So there is more dust on the way. It's been like this for a while now where we continually have these dust plumes moving off, moving to the west and blanketing the region. So just a little heads up there with that. But aside from that, there is nothing uh, very significant going on aside from the dust, aside from the trough around, and then our newly marked tropical wave. There isn't anything else uh, really going on right now in the North Atlantic. However, I'll continue to keep you guys posted as I always do. And that is it for this update video. I do hope you found it to be very informative. And if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.